Kelly Clement here from Metastock. In this video, we're going to be talking about ways to backtest your strategy. Backtesting is basically a way of doing a personality test in a way of putting your system against your security to see how well it's performed over time. And system, system testing allows us to do that. So let's go into the system tester in Metastock and show you how to set up a system test and run through a basic one. So what I'm going to do here is, first of all, I'm just going to take an instrument, put it against a, a strategy, and we'll get a result. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to backtest Tesla on here on the system test tab. I'll just select this. And then I want to select a strategy. So let's just take something basic like a MACD. So we're just going to search for the MACD here. And I'm going to select the expert system. So this will put Tesla against the MACD to see how it's performed over time. Now you can also do, do whole lists if you want to, and we will do that in subsequent videos. But for now, we're just going to put Tesla against the MACD. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to put it against how, tell the system tester how I trade. Am I trading long? Am I trading short? Or am I trading both? So let's just say I'm trading long, okay? And then I tell the system tester how long I want to test for. If I select 1250 records over daily, I'm doing about five years worth of data. So let's, let's just say I want to do about the last three years. So we'll put in 750. I select what time frame I would like to do, whatever time frame you want to do here. And then we're going to select some options. And this is all about telling the system tester again how you trade, because everybody that trades has different amounts in their trading account, may have different risk tolerances, so on and so forth. So these are just some quick settings that you can set once, and then it will always be there for you. So we have reporting. Leave this one alone. This is kind of the standard default. You can change this as a more advanced user, but 99% of users leave this alone right here. Account is what you're actually trading, how much you're trading or how many shares you want to trade. If you're trading Forex, futures, or crypto, you want to do a points only test. If you're trading equity, you can, you have some more options here. So you can tell the system tester how much you have in your trading account, how much you're willing to risk of that. So the first option here is percent of available equity. You can also say, I only trade a specific number of units. So if I trade a thousand shares at a time or 10,000 or five shares, whatever it is, you can put that there. Transaction cost is basically you're willing to put in X amount and that's it or percent of available equity. So if I were to say here, I have a hundred thousand and I'm risking 20% of that available equity. So I'd be risking $20,000 in a given trade. Now, that may not be what you're willing to risk. 20% 20, 20 is a pretty high amount of your trading capital to put into a trade, but it's easy math here for our example, so I'm going to leave it. So 100,000, we're risking 20%, so 20,000. So if my account goes up to 200,000, it will then risk 40,000. So it kind of stages that up. Broker, this is if you trade on margin, you can put in your percent here. If you make money on your money market account when you're out of a trade, you can put that in your margin requirements. You can put in commissions, how much it costs to get into a trade, how much it costs to get out of a trade. And you can calculate that again, kind of the same way as you were, you were setting up your equity uh, points per transaction, points per unit and percent of available equity, excuse me, percent of transaction. And then trade execution. This lets us set what we call realistic market prices. What this is, is it's basically saying, okay, if I have a, a buy signal on the close of today, when am I really getting into that trade? Well, that would be tomorrow. So that's what it's saying. If, okay, I got the buy signal today, get in on market open tomorrow. Or if it's a five minute buy, close of this bar, get in on the next bar. So you can change that, manipulate it, set it for a delayed order opening. So two, three bars if you want, whatever you want to set there. You can also account for slippage. So what you're actually getting into a trade versus what may be the open. You can say, oh, maybe it's a half a percent or 1%. You can set that in there. 
Let's go ahead and click OK. And now by doing this now, I'm going to tell it to say MACD against Tesla when it says buy it, buy it, when it says sell it, sell it is what it's going to happen here. And then I start my test. It will run my test and give me some results. So that is our first video here. We're going to be talking more about the system tester, how to read results, how to go through these different things. So keep watching for more information on the system tester and learning more about it.